Uh, hello, I'm Tim Durham, and I'm going to try to make an informational video for beekeepers. Uh, don't send a donation. I don't need the money. My wife's got plenty of money, and uh, I let her go shopping every weekend, buy anything she wants. She brings it back to me. I take it and get a refund. Then next week, weekend, she does the same thing. Has more fun to bear the monkeys. Now, look, this hive here is, is queenless. And if, if you're a beekeeper and you have a queenless hive uh, and, and you're going to put a new queen in it, then uh, uh, there's a, a couple of things you need to consider. Uh, this hive has land workers in it. And you won't be able to see it in the camera, so just verbally I, I can tell you that uh, uh, this hive has land workers. That, mean, that means that something happened to the queen and the, the workers out of desperation have started laying eggs. And uh, uh, these workers will lay eggs in the cell. Uh, they're erratic. They're, they're, they won't lay the egg in the bottom of the cell. They, they may lay two, three eggs, four eggs in a cell and they may be on the side of the cell. So uh, you really can't see it on the camera, but this is a, a hive that the workers are laying. So what I will have to do is take these frames out and uh, uh, I wear these gloves to keep to, to kind of keep the, the propolis off, off my fingers because once that propolis gets on your fingers, you can't hardly get it off. I mean, it, it, it'll stay on there like glue. But uh, now I use these, uh, these frame holders uh, come up a little closer so they can see. In my opinion, this is the best frame holder. There, if, you, if you can see what it looks like, there's many different kinds made, and this one here is hard to beat. Different people like different things. Now I'm going to take a frame out of the center, and I can tell the way these bees are acting. They don't have a queen, and I can see eggs in those cells, and they're just uh, haphazardly laid on the cell, on the wall of the cell. So what I will do is, I will, uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'll take these frames of bees and I'll take them out, a, a ways out, and I'll shake them all out, and, and they'll all wander back in some of the other hives. But if I put a queen in there right now, they'll kill her. They won't accept her. So uh, maybe that's helped somebody in. And uh, we'll make it some more information here later. Thank you. Okay, here's a, a swarm uh, that landed underneath this equipment. And uh, what I've done so far is I've laid two brood frames uh, down there so they'll crawl on, on, on the frames. And then I'll set these frames inside the beehive and they'll continue crawling in the beehive so Gina uh -huh. can, can hold, hold, hold can you see in there good enough to hold uh -huh. this on there yeah and and uh, 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 I can show these people how, how I, I set them in there All right, I'm gonna set the, I'm gonna set this frame that's that's, Ooh, that thing, that's loaded. it's it's loaded they, the, they crawled on there nicely and they, they've crawled on this one nicely. Uh, I was looking to see if I could spot the queen. I don't spot her just yet. So oh, there... one, 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 one got me. Oh. I, well, I mashed her. And I'm going to try to set these like that. And now... I, I hope I don't get stung. No, you, you, won't, you won't get stung. Okay. Uh, just hold that oh, you just got from my blue gloves. Hold that video on there just, just for a minute. Okay. <laughs> so I wonder what have I mean, where'd they come from? Well, they, this is how they multiply. And uh, now, 
I'm going to try to I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to reach down here and, and get a bunch of them. Are they? I ain't going to get stuck. Now. I don't think so, no, ma'am. All right, because they might get mad at you for moving them around. They might not want to be moved. All right, I'll tell, tell, tell you what to do. I'm going to. I'm gonna take that turn it off because I you know I don't want you to get stung either. Thank you thank you for doing that. Okay, while I'm while I'm working on the beehives, there's my grandson up there putting putting a roof on one of the buildings. Doing a wonderful job. Thanks. Hey Parker. Hey Pops. Or, whoever's watching. That's right. He's doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, if this helps somebody, uh, here, here's a tip. You know, you can't think of, of all the tips. Uh, maybe if I sit down and wrote them down, I could tell you all of them at one time. But concerning the bottom board, uh, uh, everything considered, this is the best bottom board. You, if you, you're going to buy one, it's, a, it's, it's simple, it's, it's neat, uh, it's the best. It's, light, it's lightweight. Okay, there's the bottom of it. That's the bottom of the bottom board, and and uh, there's the screen. All right, now here's one. Here's one right here with uh, the the uh, uh, cor plastic corrugated slid uh, in in the bottom, and so you can see how it comes out. But uh, I, I don't keep them in there. I leave them out. Now, one other thing, it's like everything you buy, uh, I put more, uh, I put, I reinforce it, I put more nails, you, you need to do that, because that, that, that goes with anything you buy, uh, but anyhow, everything considered, and this comes from Brushy Mountain, so I hope it helps you. Okay, uh, here's a little tip here that, that uh, I'll offer to you, and maybe, maybe it'll help you. Uh, this is the uh, traditional inner cover, and you see that hole in the center. They make it oblong, and you know uh, people continue to do something because that's the way they did it in the past. And so when I make my now an inner cover is something you can make real easy. Take a little time, but you can make it. Now here's my inner cover right here, sitting on top, and and. I cut a round hole the size of a fruit jar. So, if I ever need to, uh, in an emergency, need to feed these these bees, then I can set my fruit jar right down in that hole. So, maybe that'll help you, give you an idea. I hope it does. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Maybe this will help you a little bit. Uh, a couple of little tips here. Okay, this is a swarm that uh, that I put in. I put in here on uh, June June 11, and today is the Saturday. I think uh, 14th. Now another little tip. Uh, see this uh, plastic corrugated. It's the same stuff that that. The political signs are made out of that you see stuck up everywhere, and uh, if you, if you use a, a permanent magic marker, you write on it and you got to turn it upside down so the sun won't shine on it. Those permanent markers are not permanent. Now, if you use pencil, pencil will not fade. But anyhow, in this case, I used a magic marker. I turned it upside down, and and I put a brick on it uh, on on stand up on end. And that, that reminds me that I need to check this hive. So I'm going to go into this hive and see if uh, I have this uh, swarm on, on 611. And I'm going to see if the queen is laying okay. I don't have my tripod. So uh, I'll do the best I can do. Okay. Uh, this, queen, this, hive, this swarm that I put in there does not have a queen. Now... Either they have a, she, there's a, it's a virgin queen and she hasn't started laying, or they don't have a queen. And I could have overlooked a virgin queen. Now, 
I only put as many frames in there as the bees can cover. Now these were drawn comb. When if for any reason I take drawn comb out of a hive and I'm going to use it later, I put it in the freezer for a few days and that kills any uh, high beetle larvae so I do not have to use chemicals. So I use a freezer and I so I don't I do not have to use chemicals. So I put this swarm on drawn comb. Now you can see where they started to draw some burr comb right here. And likewise on the inner cover. You see that piece of drawn uh, burr comb? So you have to be careful and give them enough comb, but I don't give them too much. Now I'm going I'm to uh, uh, introduce the queen, but the bad part about it is I, I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, hold the camera with my left hand and put the queen in with my right hand. Whoops, dropped my glove. Now, see this plastic glove? I, I, this is, a lot of times I use this not to protect my hand from stings, but to keep pro propolis off of my hands. Because if, uh, uh, otherwise, uh, I'd have pro propolis all over my hands. When I get in the van, then they get all the steering wheel and everything. So uh, normally I use these uh, plastic gloves. They fit your hand snugly, so for what it's worth. Now, um, I don't know if you can see the queen cage. The bees are all over it. You see it? Now, uh, this, this tube right here has got candy in it. And when the bees, when I put this in there, they would eat the candy out the, out of the end of that tube and then that will let the queen walk out. Well, by the time uh, they have eaten the candy out of that tube, then they will, got used, they will have got used to her, her odor, and accept her as her new queen. So, uh, now, I'm going to move these frames apart and I don't know if I'll be able to do all this and hold the camera at the same time or not. Now, I'm going to put this in sideways. Alright. Now, I'm reaching down with my left hand. Okay, I just... Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I used my left hand and I just snug the frame just gently on that queen, queen cage. So, I will come back in a few days and see if they released her and she's laying. So, I hope this helps you. Thank you.